Hi everyone, my name is Sasha and in this video I'll be coloring in April in my pre-drawn bullet journal. Once again, I'm leaving the link to my journal in the description below. So for this bubble theme, I wanted to choose some cute spring pastel colors. I chose darker and lighter blue and pink, turquoise and really bright yellow color. I wanted these bubbles to look a bit more realistic, but I also wanted this paint with me to be easily followed if you want to color in your journal with me. Um, so as you can see, I'm only doing two strokes of the same color in the opposite spots of the bubble and you will see the exact color placement I chose later in this video. As you can see, I overlap those darker colors and I place them a bit closer to the outline and here I'm adding the lighter colors like the pastel blue and pink closer to the middle of a bubble and this creates some dimension and looks much more interesting. Then I'm using the yellow color which really brings it together and I love how bright and playful this theme is. For the last touch I'm going in with white jelly roll and covering the whole light reflection. I'm also doing some white curved lines inside the bubbles and this adds some light to the spread and make those bubbles look much more real. to stand up more so I did some faux calligraphy on the April title and created wider down strokes with my black tumble pen. Here I'm using the light pink color to highlight the title as well as the calendar header. separating date section with a border and highlighting it with pink. to add some lines in the other sections. I continued with the same coloring technique for the bubbles and as you can see it doesn't have to be perfect it will still look cute at the end when you have all the layers and colors complementing each other
I think this scene can be a bit intimidating at first, but it is actually super simple to do. So I encourage you to try and definitely tag me on your Instagram uh, so I can see your recreations. Here I'm using those three latest shades to highlight the habitators. This March I was tracking sleep in my mood chart as well and it was actually really nice to see how the sleep affected my mood. So I want to show you how to set it up and you can really use it however you please. So if you for example want to track studying or sleep or me time or whatever, you can set up a new axis in your chart and just create a different way to represent it. So if I want to track my mood, I do a line chart with dot on each day and for the sleep I'm doing a pink bar chart. You can put on these axes maybe how many hours you slept, um, I just wanted to track how well rested I feel. Uh, so I'm just drawing this little bolt at the top, meaning I feel well rested, and three Z's at the bottom, meaning I feel tired. I colored in the bubbles in the expenses page. I'm using the light pink for transactions table header and light blue for bills and summary section. I always get some questions about this chart, so here I'm showing you how I use it. Uh, you just basically sort your expenses into categories and create a colorful pie chart. The last spread I'll be doing is the weekly one. I'm coloring in the bubbles first with blues and turquoise, then with pinks and lastly with yellow color. And as usual I'm adding light reflections with white.
day boxes, I highlighted them with light pink, blue and yellow color and added day number in the center of a box. And here I'm adding some lines into the section. So this is how I colored in my pre-drawn April. I'm leaving all the stationery I used in the description with the link to the journal as well as the links to the printable versions of this month. Hope you enjoyed this paint with me, I really loved how cute and bright this theme is and it was also super easy to color in. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon, bye!